We all know the biggest fashion trends come from the fashion capitals of the world. They are New York, London, Paris, and Milan. But did you know you can get those looks from your local retailers? Gerlin Gravely joins us now to show us how. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Yes, yeah. I, I forget that, you know, our fashions are really dictated from other places right. in the world, right? Abs absolutely. Like the fashion capitals, New York, London, Paris, and Milan, they pretty much set the trends and the tone of what's happening pretty much in the rest of the world. Okay. Yes. All right. So what are we seeing right now, for example, in New York? New York is known for their black. Um, a lot of New Yorkers wear black and they mix and match different types of uh, fabrics and um, the colors and whatnot. But black is always used as the basis of what you'll see in New York. Okay, all right. So really anything goes as, as long yeah. as it's black and mix and match. Mix and match or you just put, pretty much do your own thing in New York. They're a little bit more fashion risk takers in New York. So. Okay, all right. And then you were saying that, you know, the shades of color here locally is a great place to shop for that look. Why right. is that? Um, well, the owner, Pauline, it's very, she's very cosmopolitan. She grew up in London. I mean, she goes to New York a lot for her on her buy-in trips, and so she kind of knows what's going on. She's a very stylish fashion forward lady herself, so mm -hmm. she brings that flavor to Rono. I love it. very important. And we have one model here um, to kind of showcase a look. Who do right. we have, and what are we Erica Jenkins, and this is representing what you would find yeah. in New York City. This is uh, the New York look. The New York look. Um, it's, like I said, it's normally a lot of black. Uh, we layered her with the jewelry, of course, with accessories are very important, the hat. So this is the kind of look that you would see on the streets of New York. Um, you know, Fifth Avenue. Oh, she five, totally kind of looks of, Fifth Avenue. Very Fifth Avenue, like fashion editor, like if she was working for a magazine. I mean, you'd see this on the streets of New York. And a big clunky necklace, is big, that a clunk, fashion yes, statement? Yes, big clunky necklace, the earrings, the hat, of course, is her own accessories. And then the suede boots, you know, you kind of would see this kind of look. It is a fabulous look. And where did she get this look? Um, shades of color. Shades of color, okay. And the boots are hers. Mm -hmm. but they're from New York as well. So. They are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a big suede boot mm -hmm. with a, a black outfit. By our outfit, yes. Is, is perfect. I mm -hmm. love the hat. Absolutely. Love the we hat. love the hat. So we just tell people to take black, mm -hmm. but also mix it with different colors and different, you know, jewelry and accessorize it where we also make black the base, but right. add other things to it. I love black. I'm glad Me you're too. saying. Yes, yes. <laughs> New Yorkers are known black. for their black. I yes. know. I love it. Okay. And then um, London is another place where we're going to see a lot of fashions. And then you say Birdcage Boutique is a great example. Great example of that the owner of Birdcage Boutique, she's British. Okay. And so she brings that element element of what that in the store so she knows I got consult with her for uh -huh. making sure we get the London look right. London fashion is more a little bit edgier than New York and okay. they're they're pretty much all sort of more on the cutting edge than New York is. Okay. Yes. All right. And then Milan. Milan. What are we seeing out of Milan? Italy, you know, you have the fashion houses like, you know, Armani and Prada. Mm -hmm. Prada's really great. They're sort of like the fashion, you know, what sort of leads the pack. Mm -hmm. And so you have that whole Italian flair, like you think of Sophia Loren and people like that, you know, or Dolce and Gabbana. They yeah. mix pennants and prize. They're known for their leathers. Okay. And also their knits. Mm -hmm. So like the House of Missoni, you know, Giorgio Armani, yeah. people like Versace. And she's international is perfect for that. Perfect for that, yes. Okay. Yes. And then Paris Birdcage Boutique again. Yes. Is a uh, great place. And the reference of that, of course, is Coco Chanel. Mm, okay. And Paris is known for their couture, their high, which is high fashion. Okay. It's a lot of couture of course comes out of Paris mm -hmm. and then you have the Chanel and sort of like those and a lot of those is on Chanel and Hermes and people like that so Garland well thank you so much we saved a lot of money we didn't have to go travel around the world right. and you, you know you shop can, local you can shop local and that's what we wanted to tell people to encourage people to shop for those looks local yeah fashionista Roanoke for more information thank you Garland you're welcome let's